Getting into more less serious topics, I'm going into Team USA and their exhibition games. Now, Team USA beat the former FIBA champion Germany in their final exhibition game to finish 5-0 in total before the Olympics have started. There are a couple things that you need to note from watching these five games. One is that LeBron James, when he needs to be, even at 40 years old, is still easily the best player on the planet. It's completely unprecedented. It's unexplainable how a man who is that old, who's been playing for that long, who has that much mileage on his knees and his feet and his legs can still be this good. But LeBron James is making it all possible. It's absolutely fantastic. I am so, so, so eager to see what he's able to do in the Olympics, man. It's incredibly impressive. And I'm happy to be alive and see it. I'm seeing him break the scoring record, seeing him get 40,000, 10,000, and 10,000 plus. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, our second note is, guys, we can't expect constant 50-point blowouts to these international teams anymore. We can't do that. International talent has become vastly better than it was back in even the 90s and even the early 2000s. It's just vastly better. It's a lot more competitive. You cannot expect the United States to just walk in and blow out international teams anymore. It's going to be a competitive setting. There are going to be very, very competitive games. There are teams that are really, really, really good, and we have to expect them to be able to at least keep up with our Team USA. Now, does that mean we should not win? Absolutely not. Team USA should absolutely dominate. They're going to be dominant. They're going to be the best team there, and that shouldn't be surprising. Now, as far as winning games by 50, probably not. Not that kind of domination. But winning games by 10, even 20 points, I think that's a more fair and more accurate expectation. And then for our last one, the United States needs to figure out a true starting lineup. Now, personally, this is what I think the starting lineup should look like. And hear me well. Steph Curry at the point, Kevin Durant at the two, LeBron at the three, Bam at the four, and AD at the five. With, of course, everybody else coming off the bench. And I think Anthony Edwards should actually be the star six man coming off the bench. Now, Team USA looks to be adjusting overall, but you can't really complain. Right? They went 5-0 and as a team and uh, with the record so far. The next game is against Serbia in the real Olympics on July 28th. It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be incredibly fun to watch. I am absolutely ecstatic that the Olympics are coming up. There are going to be so many videos, so much content on TikTok, Instagram Reels. Uh, if you guys haven't been able to get to that, then I have that link all in my description. All those links in my description. So please, feel free, after you subscribe to the channel, go to the TikTok Go to the Instagram and support your boy up a little bit. But nonetheless, this Team USA team is going to be really good. I'm eager to see what's going to happen once they kind of apply a permanent starting lineup and Kevin Durant comes back and we see what the team looks like in their first real Olympic contest.